And just so you know, uh, these notes we shared in the chat are for you. So feel free to add questions um, into the notes in case you don't want to um, be heard on the recording. So I'll just hand over to Patricia now. Yeah, and I actually just at this point uh, uh, highlight that uh, we at the DCC now have a code of conduct for events um, that you can find on our homepage. Uh, it's basically, you know, um, that you should behave respectful um, and inclusive. And yeah, I think it's the, the main summary is be nice to each other. Um, but if there are any issues, um, you can pick them up with uh, Magdalena and myself uh, afterwards. I think we had our colleague Thordis as a third person, but she has left the DCC, so we need to um, figure out um, which, which colleague will put things up there if you don't, uh, uh, if you aren't comfortable to talk to or pick things up with Magdalena and myself afterwards. Um, so, note to self, um, add another colleague in there. Um, but yeah, that's just a regular reminder that these are um, friendly calls. I think that's it. Okay, thanks, Patricia. Um, so, the goal um, of this um, demo session is although we will not provide Google Analytics technical support nor detailed training, we have enabled this functionality and we'll use this demo session to demonstrate where you can add the tracker code, how to set this up, and some broad overview of what you can find from Google Analytics. Um, so I don't know how experienced uh, users we have here, but I can just uh, hand over to Patricia. Yeah. And as this is like a, a new functionality and not really a, a DMP online um, feature per se, um, this time it's about like just, you know, sharing your experiences or institutional politics, I guess. Uh, they, they play um, policies, they play um, in here as well. Um, so it would just be interesting to to understand if, you know, Google Analytics is a tool that um, you use regularly, if this is, for example, what you use to get an understanding of um, how your institutional web pages are used, um, or if your institution uses, uses something else there because there's, an, uh, there's a policy um, that uh, keeps you from, from using Google Analytics. Um, I guess it's just like a bit of a, yeah, um, getting a feel, feel for that. And you can put that in the notes or in the chat if you are using Google Analytics for, um, for something else already. Um, or uh, if if this would be you know the um, the starting point for you, I guess to explore Google Analytics a bit more. Um, yeah, if you if you have something to share, feel free to to do that. Okay, you can see someone typing. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's let's wait for the finish. yeah let's let's <laughs> let's wait for people to actually have some some moments to to type. So yeah, there are institutions that uh, use that for their um, their web pages or some of their web pages. Uh, I remember that like we had that set up at the institution that where where I worked before um for the for the web pages as well. Um, although I have to admit, I never did like, uh, I never had the time to do a strategic analysis on, on uh, the data that I got out of uh, Google Analytics for that um, and um, improve based on that. I think we had the 
the regular issue that um, I don't know how other institutions uh, see that, but that the institutional web pages are a nightmare to navigate. And actually the way people get to your information is they put it in Google with the institution and then <laughs> end up on the, on the correct page. I think that was the main takeaway there. Um, yeah. mm, yeah. Okay, so you've got Google Analytics set up for some of the pages. Um, that's good. Uh, and I guess then uh, I'll hand back to Magdalena, who is just going to show you how you plug in uh, plug in um, BMP online into mm -hmm. your analytics. Um, okay, thank you, Patricia. So I'll try to share my screen in a way that I can swap around different screens. So I hope I will select the correct setting. I think the best one will be actually... Uh, where, which one? Google Chrome, Firefox, Preview. And let me try with the Firefox. I don't want to like overburden you with my desktop um, because I have too many things there. But if you can see the right thing, that's what matters. Um, can you just confirm what you can see now? Uh, I can see the browser tab that is on the Google Analytics page. Fantastic. And I think this should be an incognito window as well, but I'll just start a new incognito window here. So we have a blank page. Um, okay, so I think everyone here today has um, administered admin privileges um, access, um, but for those who might be watching this video later, if you don't have the admin privileges from DCC, email us at dmponline at dcc.ac.uk. And it is once you're granted the admin privileges, you will see the additional admin menu, which has several items allowing you to also add tracker code for Google Analytics, something I'll show you where and how to do this. Um, like I mentioned at the beginning, although we will not provide Google Analytics technical support nor detailed training of Google Analytics per se, we have enabled this functionality and we'll use this demo session to demonstrate where you can add the tracker code, how to set this up, and some broad overview of what you can find out from Google Analytics. If there are some pro users, I do apologize. This might be very basic. Um, but still, there might be hopefully some tips if you're just setting this up that might be helpful. There are plenty of resources online where you can learn more about Google Analytics in detail, go through online training, start customizing the dashboards and understand the data. Um, and also at the, at the end of this demo session, I will share some links with you so you know where to start if you want to go into more detail of this. So in today's demo session, we'll cover the following topics. Uh, what is Google Analytics? Uh, we'll also then continue with, I'll show you very briefly how Google Analytics uh, basic setup works and insert the tracking code into DMP online. We'll also check whether our code works. Um, so we'll click on the real time and we'll also um, after the session uh, share, I'm more than happy to share my notes with you as well as all the links um, to follow in a case you want to start more into Google Analytics. So uh, what is Google Analytics? And again, I apologize, this might be too basic, uh, but Google Analytics is a tool that can help you to gain better insight into how DMP Online is used at your institution by collecting the data. Google Analytics collects anonymous information about how the users interact with the pages, and it can help you understand better the researcher's behavior on the MP online pages. Our colleague has implemented Google Tracker ID, I think it was last year in June, uh, that will allow you to start collecting more insights into how is the MP online page for your institution used. And since we run multi-tenancy, the code works in a way that it will provide you with reports for the usage usage just for your users that's affiliated with your organization rather than collecting all data from all users on the MP online pages. As a result, uh, if you decide 
use Google Analytics, you will be able to learn about things such as how many researchers visited DMV online, the most common browser uh, your researcher used, uh, the device they use, so that can be phone, tablet, or a desktop uh, computer, operating system or language or traffic source, in other words, what Patricia mentioned at the beginning, uh, what brought your researchers to the MP online page, which can be quite interesting to know about as well. So we'll now move to the Google Analytics basic setup. So prior you start using Google Analytics, you will need to create an account or link the MP online with your existing account. So we can pretend here that we don't have any. Um, and if this is the case for you, I would suggest to put together a very general email address, um, something like research data management, um, Essex University or something like that at gmail.com. So we, you can ensure that uh, this can be passed easily to your colleagues if there will be change of staff. So we'll start on Analytics Google. Oops, is it typing? Uh, I will actually just copy and paste this. This might be faster. If it only didn't open automatically in Chrome, but can you see my screen? Is it, did it jump to the Google Analytics now? We're still on the same page where you started from. So oh. this is disappointing. I was hoping it jumped around. Let me see. Still not there. I might um, I might reshare my screen if it's still not showing here. Um, I'm not entirely sure what you expect us to see. I, I was so I went to analytics.google.com and I was hoping you can see the page there. Let me. Oh, okay. I can see this. This looks like green page now. So this is the one that should work. Uh, and let me go into the window. Unfortunately, it's logging me in straight away. This is why I was hoping to use the incognito window, but let's see again. Hmm. Let me log out here. Apologies. I thought it will be a little bit smarter here. So. I click here and can you see my whole screen now? Yep. Okay, brilliant. That doesn't really matter. Um, it's just for the video purposes, I thought it'd be nicer to have it clear, but okay. I'll just copy and paste here again uh, into the incognito window. So it started nicely here and I will sign out as well. And remove the accounts. And here you will be prompted to create the account. So we can just create very quickly a test one. There's the MP online 2021. And we will, I don't know, put together some new password. Okay, express. And I confirm everything and I agree to everything. And hopefully we'll jump to the Google Analytics page now. Oh no, Google Analytics. <laughs> I don't understand <laughs> what's going on here. Oh, brilliant. We are on the right page now. So after you create your account, it should jump straight into, into this page. Um, and in here, you will need to click on start measuring. And this is uh, where you will add your account name. So if you're using this for the whole institution, um, I don't know, Essex University, whatever uh, is the name of your university, this is where you want to add the name of your institution. Um, I'll be just using this as a DMP online. Uh, so I'll just say DMP online tutorials. Um, here you will click next. Um, and this is um, where you can add more um, pages to be tracked. So in our case, uh, this will be DMP online. So again, you can either create name or maybe for easier uh, tracking purposes, it might be just that you'll copy and paste 
uh, the website. So what I'm going to do here, I'll just copy the website so I know it's the MP online. And um, what I found out when I was testing this previously, um, and we'll need to update this on the GitHub board pages as well, that you will now need to click here on the show advanced options um, and click here on create a universal analytics property. This is because Google Analytics has upgraded to something called Google Analytics 4, and they are putting together a new tracking, I think they call it measurement ID, which will not work with uh, Google Analytics we had in DMP online. So this is the extra step you need to take. So click here. Um, here is where you will add the DMP online page. So if you're having customized pages for DMP online, this is where you will be where you will be adding your customized page. Otherwise, it might be just this one. And you don't want to create the Google Analytics for an universal analytics property. Again, if you take this, this code will not work. So what you want to do here is to click on create a universal analytics property only. And we will hit next. And we'll just ignore this. Um, and accept the terms and conditions. And it should jump straight away into the tracking ID. Brilliant. So um, we have been successful and it provided us with the tracking ID. So this is what we will need to copy and paste and bring to uh, the DMP online pages. So I'll try to log in now as an administrator for the tutorials. Uh, okay, let me try to log in somewhere where I might be already logged in. Too many windows here, for which I apologize. The nponline.dcc.ac.uk. Yeah, and so I'm here already logged in um, as an administrator for the DMP online tutorials. So once we have like I shown you the tracker ID from Google Analytics. We want to take it and bring it, apologies for the jumps. We want to bring it back uh, to our organization. So you will click here on admin. Then in here, you will click on organizational details. And I have been using some other code, but I'll just pretend this never existed. So this is the Google Analytics tracker. I'll just insert what we, oops copied, which we didn't copy properly. So I'll just go back into the window, which unfortunately is going too low. So let me go here. And where is my correct window? Sorry, this is what happens when I have too many windows now opened. Brilliant. So this is my tracker code. I'll make sure command C ensure that I'm copying the right thing. I'll now insert the track code here and hit save. And we now want to make sure that this works. So in order for you to see whether this works is to go back to the tracking page, which was for us here. And I'll go into the real time overview. And it sees me now. So I, because it's the MP online tutorials, it doesn't have a lot of users. So I'm the only one uh, currently using it. It's confirming I'm using this from uh, my computer and it's being quite correct that I'm based in Glasgow. So these tables, um, you know, first and foremost, it's quite good to, when you plug this code to check the real time, because this is how you can check this actually works these statistics will become much more interesting over time. So the more data you have, the more interesting things you will find out. Um, but there are the real time data, and then you have more information about the audience. Um, so that are your users, where are they based, for example, what do they use uh, to get to your pages and you know some behavior on their website. So um, 
again, more information can be found um, and how you can customize these dashboards and links, which we will be sharing with you. Let me just go back into my notes so I know where to continue because I do apologize. I didn't memorize um, everything I wanted to share with you. Yeah, so we did check the real time and we'll share these links with you. So there is more information on GitHub board um, and then also Google Analytics, like I mentioned, put quite good um, tutorials together. So there is a short instruction, but also a whole course for the beginners. I think altogether it's like three hours that it might be worth going through. And there are more uh, free analytics uh, Google courses for you in case you want to start becoming more advanced. But this is all for me. I'll stop sharing my screen and I apologize for all my windows. Um, here we go. Thank you. Brilliant. I think, I think that is a useful thing because there's a, a lot to click through and um, figuring out where exactly you need to click to make things work. So I think that's really useful to have recorded. Okay. Are we going to use Google Analytics to get an idea of the usage of DMP online across the institutions? Um, that's a good question. I'm not entirely sure if we actually can do a super admin one. Can we? We So we have a super admin one and we can basically see the usage of everyone. Um, but this is not accessible for the uh, for administrators this is accessible for patricia myself and i think the rest of our team yeah i mean i'm, I'm not entirely sure what we what we would learn from from that um yeah as you said like it's an interesting idea but i'm not entirely sure what we what we would get out of it that is useful it's just yes. I think to us it's just interesting to see like this morning I just checked and like straight away you can see the total number of users on the MP online pages so instead of one you would see I don't know 40 and um, we have been collecting the data uh, over time so once you start clicking through you know um, you, you would see more movement across the dashboards but I must admit I I never really uh, look into this at all uh, prior for the Google Analytics session. So, yes, I was just curious about it. Um, I'm not sure myself if it would be useful for you, but it could be interesting if you would have a better idea, maybe, of the behavior of how the how users are are um, going through the pages yeah, to also to maybe to improve the usability maybe of the system or the internet. Yeah. I don't know, something like that. I was just thinking like Beverly said, like a different a comparison, how different institutions users come to it. Um, I think like our kind of limitation there is that we're not entirely sure what you are like communicating mm. in, in, you know, to your users. So we're not entirely sure if like, we could probably make interesting notes, but we're not sure if you're like telling people to do specific things. But I think it would be, I think it could be an interesting project, um, I, potentially again for like a, a summer student or something. If we, um, so the same, same way we had a student to um, who did the the usability testing um, with with Diana last summer? I think that would be a probably a nice little project to do a bit of a comparison and um, see how that potentially compares to what people um, you know tell you out loud when when you put them down to test things. So I think that is a nice companion piece. Um, so yeah, I think that's a, is that a good summer student project? I think it sounds to me like a good summer I, student I think it could be. I'm just 
I was just, you know, now being nosy and had actually a look at, um, as we speak, I'm looking at um, the users from the whole DMP online. And it's interesting to even see like which browsers they use. Um, some people are using this DuckDuckGo. Um, some people are using uh, Google, but majority of the users directly click on DMP online, which is interesting to know. Um, but yeah, uh, like you said, I think this is a summer, uh, yeah. summer intern project. Um, could be quite interesting, actually. Yeah, let's let's note that down as as that because, um, yeah, I think it needs it needs some time and some digging to really get use out of it, and I'm not entirely sure if Magdalena and me like have the capacity in, in the uh, in the uh, everyday running of DMP online to just spend what is probably like a few weeks in death to to make use of this but i think we can learn something out there just to yeah as you said which browsers are people using we because sometimes bugs are related to specific browsers so i think like just getting a better idea of what what folks are are using would be um would be good and it's interesting to also see like how people navigate, but I think Patricia, you already mentioned it. It might be, you know, you are having different ways to communicate through your websites or trainings. Um, but it's just interesting to see how people actually land it on the MP online. Um, it could be interesting to... I guess if we, if we learn something specific, um about an institution we could always feed that back to you and like you know double check if, if what we're seeing in google analytics makes sense to you as institutions so um yeah i think that that's a good summer student project we'll we'll note that down um as 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 that i mean we've yeah absolutely it's, yeah it's been part of the the rates five upgrade that we've actually put this on the live server so we actually live service so we haven't really um we've, we've only had this for a few weeks um but uh yeah i think when we have like a bit of a of long-term data and someone to give this a dedicated look um I don't know whether there are some any further like suggestions or observations or questions from anyone. Um, if not, I think we can just uh, move slowly um, to closing. There are a few things uh, to mention before we close. Um, I feel like I'm repeating myself over and over again, but on the 8th of June, we are running a user group. Um, you can still register. Um, and I think we were putting a deadline, Patricia, for the 25th of May, but if you still have some uh, further thoughts about like um, features uh, your institution would benefit from, feel free to add them to the list. We are planning to go through the list and you don't need to raise a ticket on the GitHub board but just raise, I don't know, your concern or issue or a feature you would be interested in. We'll try to do the mapping with Patricia uh, prior the user group on the 8th of June. Um, and if there is a ticket, marry these two. And on the day, we hope to have some community voting on the features. So this is a good opportunity uh, to bring some issues forward and have more space to discuss them. So it's on the 8th of June um, to register. And I'll just copy the link with you in the chat. And hopefully most of you are already following us on the social media, but if not, join us on Twitter and LinkedIn and subscribe to our monthly newsletter. And we have actually a demo session YouTube playlist with all the previous sessions. So um have a look in the case you missed anything if you have any feedback feel free to edit to our notes and if not um thanks to everyone for joining today and um, i hope you learned something and um, thanks to patricia for running the session with me and we hope to see you on the 8th of june thank you magdalena for putting all the work in
Thank you very much. Was it Goodbye. was a lot of time and effort that went into getting to grips. Thank you very much. Have a lovely day. Thank you, everyone. Thank Bye. you. Goodbye.